Boys and girls of grade 6, are you ready for science today? I am Miss Martina Archer Semple, and today our topic is monocotyledons and diacotyledons. At the end of this session, you should be able to identify parts of a flower and tell the difference between the monocotyledons and the diacotyledonous plant. Flowering plants. Flowering plants include two main groups, the monocots and the dicots. Here we're having a picture. Now, the first picture is showing us the one cotyledon. The second is showing the parallel veins. And the third picture is showing us the flower parts in threes. The seed of a monocotyledonous plant, called a monocot seed, has one cotyledon. Yes, a seed of a monocot plant, called a monocot seed, has one cotyledon. Monocots. Monocots is the short for monocotyledon, which means that the seeds of these plants contain only one cotyledon or one seed leaf. Examples of monocots are onions, bananas, tulips, wheat, barley, maize, and daffodils. What are the characteristics? What do they have in common? All grasses are monocots. Yes, all grasses are monocots. Monocots have one cotyledon. Monocots have one cotyledon. Flower parts are in threes. The flower parts are in threes of multiples of threes. Yes. Monocots have leaves with parallel veins that run down the length of the leaf. Pollen grains often have one pore. Those are the characteristics of monocots. Let's look at dicots. The seed of a dicot plant, called dicot seed, has two cotyledons. Has two cotyledons. So the mono has one and the dicot has two. Dicots. Two cotyledons flower parts in fours or multiples of fours or fives. Leaf veins form a net pattern. The pollen grain often have three pores. The pollen grain often have three pores. Let's look at them side by side. Monocots, dicots. Monocots. The embryo with a single cotyledon, while the dicots, embryo with two cotyledons. Monocots, pollen with single furrow or pore. Dicots, pollen with three furrows or pores. Monocots, flower parts in multiples of three, while dicots, Flower parts in multiples of four or five. Monocots, major leaf vein parallel, means that most of the veins are parallel. They run straight. When you split them, they have a neat split or a neat cut. While the diacots, the major leaf veins are reticulated, means that they are nitty, 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 right? When you tear them, they have jagged edges. The monocots, 
the stem vascular bundles are scattered, while the dark cuts the stem vascular bundles in a ring. The monocots roots are adventurous roots. Adventurous roots are roots that are found at the base of the soil, while the dicots roots develop from radical and it goes deep down into the soil. Monocots, the secondary growth is absent, while the dicots, the secondary growth are often present. Now we're going to look at some pictures so we would have a clearer understanding of what are monocots and dicots. Here it's even a little clearer where we have the petal and the sepal, the cotyledon, the seed with one cotyledon, and the vascular bundle. So the flower parts are in trees there, the stem with the vascular bundles and the leaf with a parallel venation. Here we are showing the picture we are talking about the net vein leaf. The net vein leaf looks like this, where it looks like it have lots and lots of different patterns. And here is a picture showing you the parallel vein leaves. The parallel vein leaf belong to the monocotyledonous plant, where we have a fibrous root system and one cotyledon. Dicots versus monocots. The two cotyledons versus one cotyledon. The four or six floral parts to three floral parts. Then we have the net vein versus the parallel vein. Now the arrangement of veins in a leaf is called a venation. Yes, the arrangement of veins in a leaf is called venation. Leaf veins are parallel in monocot plant leaves and form network in dicot plant leaves. In flowers of monocot plants, sepals and petals are present in multiple of three. A set of three, six, nine, etc. In dicot plant, flowers, sepals, and petals are present in multiple of four or five, that is a set of four, eight, or twelve, etc. Or a set of five, 10, 15, etc. Okay, so let's sum up our conclusion today. We would have looked at the monocot seed, and we say that the monocot seed has one cotyledon, while the dicot seed has two cotyledons. Leaf veins are parallel in monocot plants, while veins form network in dicot plants. In flowers, of monocot plants, sepal and petals are present in multiple of three. In dicot plant, flowers, sepals and petals are present in multiple of four or five. Okay students, for you at home I want you to prepare and to answer these questions. First one, how do the seeds of monocot and dicot plant differ. How do the seeds of monocot and dicot plant differ? Question two, what is meant by venation? And describe the venation pattern found in monocot and dicot leaves. Secondly, I want you to place the leaf bottom side up on a smooth surface. Put a sheet of strong white paper over the leaf. Then you're going to rub the leaf with a soft crayon till you have a good print, showing the veins and the margin of the leaf. After rubbing it, the different kinds of leaf you're going to identify the different type of venation. So you're going to know this belongs to monocot or it belongs to dicot leaf. 
Okay, boys and girls, this would have brought us to the end of monocotyledons and diocotyledons. Thank <laughs> you.